Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this crazy looking alternating stair design in Revit. So alternating stairs, they're kind of different from your regular staircases because they are meant for very small spaces. So if you have a short distance in which you need to place a stair, an alternating stair would do the job and it would work just great. The only two downsides or it's kind of hard at first to get used to it and to start walking on these stairs and the second part that concerns me most of all is the designs are usually ugly but I found this amazing looking design and I thought why not try to reproduce it in Revit but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project because it is an architectural project. So I'm just going to type in UN and set the units to centimeters. That's just what I usually use. And now let's create some environment in which we're going to be placing these stairs. So this particular design is between two walls. So I'm just going to type in WA for wall and let's search for a 300 millimeter wall and let's place a couple of walls like so and then I'm going to select them and just make this distance between them a hundred centimeters this sh is a short stair and should be a tight stair as well I guess that would make sense okay so now let's place a floor over here so I'm just going to place a rectangle like so maybe like that in front and then let's just enter this staircase a bit and then just by using split tool and trim and extend let's trim this in place okay so we have the the beginning floor that's downstairs and let's go upstairs to level two and and we're actually going to do that a bit later let's place the stairs first so i'm just going to go to back to level one and just go to stair and we're not going we're going to be modeling this as an in place family but first we need just a regular staircase to get the basic dimensions and Revit can calculate everything for us so why should we do that manually so I'm just going to choose here a monolithic stair and here you're usually going to have an actual thread depth uh, that Revit usually offers is 28 centimeters but because this is a alternating step stair we're actually going to type in half of the number that we're going to be using so I'm just going to type in here 15 and the actual threads will be 30 centimeters in the end so just go apply and then let's just place a stair over here so kind of place it like that and then you can use these to kind of place it wherever you want it kind of like that okay I like the placement of the stairs so let's just go finish and let's just delete this and the railing as well because we don't need railing we have our two walls so let's go to level 2 and delete this as well and let's place a floor up here just to have somewhere where the staircase ends okay so once this is finished we have this blank staircase that we're going to be using for dimensioning and now I'm just going to create a section here that we're going to be needing later on. Uh, let's flip it to the other side. Yeah. Okay, so we have everything we need. Now it's time to model our staircase. So go to component, a model in place, and then choose for stair. Stairs, okay. Choose that. Let's call it stairs one. That's okay. And now you just zoom in and you use an extrusion and you just use the line tool. And you basically go from from the first step to the third step or the third height and then you go to the second height and back here again so you basically have this triangle and you just hit finish and then we're going to go here into our section and let's zoom in okay and let's place this down and place this at this here step now we can just go here into level one back to level one and let's create the second step so just go create extrusion and then again you're going to start from here to here and go all the way here okay just go finish and again let's go into our section place this here place the beginning here and now once we have two steps we can just copy them and create the rest of our staircase so what you're going to do is you're going to just type in CO for copy 
uncheck this unconstrained option or the constraint option and then you're going to select the bottom of the height of the first step and then copy it here and then just go right ahead copying this upward so you just go all the way to the top of the staircase and then this will be the last one and this stair and this stair as well should be deleted so once we have this we can go now into 3d just to see what this looks like and okay it looks like it might make sense but let's just go finish for now and select the, the actual staircase that we used as a template and delete it so we have our staircase over here and it seems to look good enough so first thing we need to let's go into the section now so just open up this section and if we go over here and let's check 10 lines you can see we have this gap over here be, between the floor and the actual stairs so let's just measure that this height and this is 17.39 if I see this correctly so I'm just going to type in that number over here so 17.39 just go OK apply OK and now the height is the same height as the steps so this will align perfectly next I'm going to go here into level 2 and now let's align this to this here align so go up. boundary AL for align and do that and just go finish now let's go into 3d so this looks quite nice now let's go back into the staircase so just go level 1 edit in place and here let's just use the measure tool again so I can explain what it did so here this distance is around 15 centimeters but you're not really stepping over here you're stepping around here and this distance is closer to 30 centimeters so this is 28 over here so you're actually having the enough space for your feet but the staircase length is significantly shortened so that's the point of this whole exercise and this alternating staircase now let's select all of these stairs and if you don't want to have them like this all separate you can put them together just by join, joining them so you just go join make sure that multiple join is selected and then you just add all of these so it will be one monolithic 3d model okay so we have this just go finish and then we can select all of this go into edit or sorry not edit edit in place select everything go to material and let's find some wood material so just type in wood and I like to use this birch it has this nice color so just open it up go to appearance yeah this looks nice you can go maybe into edit image and maybe make some adjustments if you want to but I really like the way it looks right now and for the reflectiveness I'm just going to make this lower I don't like a glossy stair so I'm just going to leave it at this and then here you got some highlights if you want to use them but let's just leave it at white and this looks okay so just go apply okay and you finish model now let's change the material of the floor so the floor would be in the same material so just go here birch okay okay apply and okay and let's just change the wall to white so when we render it will look nice it won't have that ugly generic gray color so let's just type in white and then let's search for this gypsum wallboard I prefer using this so just go okay okay apply okay and now it's time to see what we have actually created so go into level one and here I'm just going to start and create a camera place it like so and then you stretch this up to so you can see the whole staircase and actually I'm just going to select these two walls and make them shorter so I'm going to attach them to level two just so we can have more light coming in and let's shorten this a bit so we have something that looks like this maybe we can center it a bit more yeah this looks all right and now let's try rendering this image so I'm just going to type in double R go for draft render and let's see what we get 
and there you go so this is an amazing staircase it looks really cool it takes up really just no space at all and it's it's an amazing piece to have in your home or at least in your Revit model okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you have learned something new thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day